Hi there. Many incidents fueled public protest. A tainted milk scandal in 2008, high-speed train crash in 2011, and explosion, explosions in Tianjin resi residential areas in 2015. The San Lu Group, one of the largest, largest Chinese dairy producers, produced milk powder polluted with toxic industrial compound melamine. In 2013, the China Food and Drug Administration was set up to concentrate responsibilities regarding the food and drug safety. A railway incident, railway incident in 2011 in Wenzhou was caused by failures of control and oversight due to graft and corruption. After 2019, 13 senior officials were investigated for corruption and abuse of power in scandals involving astonishing amounts of money. In 2015, huge warehouse explosions in Tianjin killed 173 and damaged more than 17,000 homes because of rampant safety violations. Party officials seldom were punished for neglecting regulations, but were reward, rewarded for economic growth. 263,500 people died in industrial accidents in 2004 and 5. Large-scale surveys showed that corruption of public officials and unfair wealth distribution were the two biggest social problems in contemporary China. Without a vigorous civil society, free and socially responsible media, and an independent judiciary, it would not be possible to achieve a sustainable regulatory capacity. Lu Xiaobo wrote a petition called the Chapter 8 to receive a Nobel Peace Prize in 2010. He died in prison in 2017. The CCP feared that Chapter 8, which challenged CCP legitimacy based on economic growth, nationalism, and telling the Chinese people there were no better alternatives to the CCP. There's a picture of Lu Xiaobo. He died in 1917 in prison. The breakdown of socialist ideas led to a, vacuous, a values vacuum. Writer Yu Hua said China moved from Mao's monochrome era of politics to Deng Xiaoping's polychrome era of economics above all. This led to a breakdown of social morality and a confusion in the value system of China today. Here's a picture of Yu Hua, apparently still alive. People long for some kind of an ethnic ethical belief system. Fundamental, fundamental notions of right and wrong were deeply ingrained in the Chinese tradition. Throughout Chinese history, heterodox religions responsible for numerous uprisings, the White Lotus, the Taiping Rebellion, among others. This historical legacy led to the CCP's suspicion of all manner of beliefs and practices. For example, the Falun Gong, started in 1992, became the largest Qigong organization in the mid-1990s. In April 1999, they had a large demonstration outside the CCP headquarters in Beijing, whereupon the authorities started rigorous suppression of the group. Despite economic achievements and national pride, many Chinese saw themselves as a beleaguered and vulnerable nation with an uncertain future. Despite policies of reform, China's growth slowed in 2014, showing the workshop of the world model might not be economically sustainable. China's social stability, not just its economy, drove Chinese policymaking. I'm going to stop here and we'll take it up in the last part.